After I'm done recording and I've edited it and I've rendered it and I've uploaded it and after I've received record amount of YouTube likes, world record fact, I play War Thunder in my free time. And it, it's a really weird process. I'm like, yeah, I'm done recording today and I can go do whatever I want. And then I'm like, well, I wonder what's happening in War Thunder. And so in my free time, I've been... Really, really enjoying the Falcon AA. And in my opinion, it's the most competitive anti-air at 7.7. There's a nice benefit about being at 7.7. You don't face the top dogs. And usually at higher BRs, players don't take out that many planes. So being at low BR, being at a 6.7, there's a lot more players. Just for some reason, maybe at higher tiers, players are trying just to grind out as fast as possible. So they don't want to deal with aircraft. But back to my original point of this being the most competitive anti-air at 7.7. It is because it's the best at killing aircraft. Or it's a 30 millimeter autocannon. And it has enough penetration to kill majority of tanks from the side. Compare that to the ZSU at 7.7. It's much better at killing tanks. But uh, at least for me, it is. I do not do well with shooting down planes with it. I'm sure a lot more players use this to kill tanks than to kill planes. And I'm sure a lot of players kind of balance it out. Because with this, we have an arming, arming, armor piercing, discarding Sabo that goes, that locks in at 110 millimeters. So we have to shoot through two rounds to get to our money round to be able to penetrate. Now, maybe one downside to the Falcon is its ammo count. But with the way I play anti-air, I don't engage at far range. I will if they're doing stall climbs, but you got to be sneaky. Well, I like being sneaky with anti-air, luring the enemy planes to come to you or to feel safe around you, and then you blast their ass to smithereens. So today, obviously, we're taking out the Falcon, and this might go into the series of let my tankers tank nice br 6.7 we are top dogs what's up zsu i i, I really wish that this uh apds why I, I don't understand why it hasn't wait 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 wait. no it has an hvap tracer shell okay the ap's incendiary i just don't understand why there's an ap shell in there or like the 60 millimeters why not just have the most penetration possible and then also have that HE to back it up for aircraft. Ooh, you know what? I would be a bigger asset to my team if I helped out this T-54 over here. Just because if he gets damaged, I'll be able to repair him. Wow, we have IS-6s, T-34s, T-92s. We are stacked right now in a massive game. So hopefully we can clear the skies. That is a very, very risky spot. Not today! Whoa, we got a big one. HE 219er. Got him critical. Now, hopefully, I didn't hit one of my teammates, and that was critical. Ooh, we got another plane. It's going to be a friendly. Yeah, yeah, got him. Well done. 
Oh, I love playing anti-air. It's so fun. 262's up. Oh! That guy's not coming back for a while. No! Oh! What was that? And where did he go? What the? What killed me? Or what, what dropped bombs on me? And those were German bombs. Got him in sight. It's a Doe 335. Oh, I don't know how close those were. 260 rounds left. Ooh, Marco's back in a IS-6. Let's go, dude, let's go. Shit. Shit, 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 shit. No, I didn't wasn't able to save him. Oh, I feel bad. That was our last hope right there. And we got a RU251 uh in a NAS horn. The NASA one's like, oh, thank fucking God we got a stationary map. Nice shot, by the way. We failed, guys. We failed. If if we would have been able... Well, actually, I don't even think if killing that Doe 217 earlier would have made a, that much of a difference. That guy was on... Like, his plane was bound to hit that IS-6 just before we engaged him. But, you know, let's say those bombs didn't hit. We would, I, I think we would have been able to come back, especially in IS-6 at that stage in the game. There were only like long 88s around. There were no more heat fin stabilizer RU-251s. But we'll try better this game. Okay, so we're gonna be versing the, ooh, okay. I would push out and try to get some Leos or, or RU-251s. Maybe we could try, but once we push past this rock, we're pretty much FUBAR. <laughs> and we're gonna do it. Oh, nice shot, Type 61. Nice shot, well done. God damn, boy, got ripped. Oh, yeah. No 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 I'm still alive. Okay, that's enough shittery right now. Whoa 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 whoa! We got friendly planes inbound already. We're calling some anti-air right around. I don't know what. Oh. Let's just do like right around here. A is still a nice option for us to go reload too. Ooh, the FB 4005's coming in. Oh, no. Joke's on you, though. I have a backup. Well, our team has a really nice foothold on the battlefield so far. It looks like majority of them went down to Charlie just because of the uh, topography or just the terrain. Makes it easier to do that. Oh, yeah, that's nice. That's nice. I mean, I mean like, am I playing this thing right? Should, should I be doing this? We're gonna take a look over here to the right near Charlie, or at least just the entrance way to Charlie. 
it handled that T-54 so well. And it was slightly angled, too. So we have we have an enemy aircraft up. The problem with Folda is that it's a huge map. So it's going to be difficult to cover all our... Uh, all our uh, sectors. 109, little damage. Bees being captured. Oh, huh, we might actually take a flank here in case there's an enemy tank over beyond the hill. Okay. So this 109 is going to have to deal with this F6F. Got him in sight. Beautiful. Stabilizers are awesome on this thing. Now they just took Bravo, and I'm sure this guy can easily see me if he looks over here. Another one? Okay, we got two friendlies up. Nice shit, bro. Ooh, aircraft cleaning up. Yes, we got one in sight. It looks like a revenge plane. Let's set up for its line. I just lost it. I just lost it. Oh, shit. He's low. I saved you. The best feeling in the world right there. In War Thunder, I would say. Nice lead shots on the LA-7. Now, come on. There has to be one more guy salty enough to get into a revenge plane. I'll be honest. I'd, I'd do it too. Like, if someone kills you late game, you're like, oh, if you didn't, you know, you hop into an aircraft. Back again, SU-6 potentially. SU-6 confirmed. Let's start getting on his line. He might actually be looking at me though, shit. Don't do it, 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 don't do it. Okay, we're about to engage. Can't see. Tango down. Beautiful. Okay, 348 rounds. So you can see how, if you're roughly accurate, the ammo is going to be able to hold you throughout the match. Shit. This is this this position is compromised. Okay, we got a Centurion Mark 10 pushing to Bravo. We're going to support him here. Call in some artillery. He just let a shot ring out. Was that him? Chariot tier. Where's the chariot tier at? That chariot here, just get that snipe. No, yeah, I think he did. Hey, Captain Bravo for the win. Ooh, no, I'm sorry. I gotta roll. I gotta roll. I gotta roll. Where is this guy? I feel like if I was, ooh, okay, so it was maybe a, oh shit. Got him. Left side. Okay, Kugel Blitz is down and we're gonna retake our earlier game position. IS-6 just killed a T-29. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yep, got him in sight. 
Nice critical on him. Good, 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 good. Little overextended there. Got another one. 194 rounds left. Let's line up. Let's line up. I uh, won't be able to line up in time. Come this way. Come this way. Yes. Nice. 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 Stabilize as a go. Hold fire. Fuck. Now, he might have been too concentrated in that uh, engagement right there to really know where we're at. Or, hang on, let's go form up on that chariot tier. Because that's where this guy's trying to engage. No need to engage yet. No need to engage yet. Oh. Oh. 68 rounds left. Is that an ace? Ace from the air or from the ground. Now, I believe that last guy is just an IS, a stray IS-6. And that should be a GG. Hopefully, I don't die here. We're going to see how long it takes to reload this. Not too long, actually. So we were able to get two kill. <gasps> oh my gosh, that sounded like a fuck of 190 for a second. We we're able to get two kills on the ground, five in the air, with 680 rounds of 30 millimeter. Guys, hope you have enjoyed this video today. And I invite you to uh, play some anti air. It's a different change of pace in this game. Let's you relax and support your team and cover them and feel like your life has a sense of purpose instead of grinding out the same tank trying to get the FPE for 80 games. Again, hope you have enjoyed. Have a great Sunday. Till next time. Peace out.